Wednesday night baseball now from Fenway Park in Boston. Tonight, the rubber match of this three-game series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Boston Red Sox. Get ready for Red Sox baseball next. Rowan Elias is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. What do we need to know here, EK? Well, guys, this will be his second start of the season. In his first start, he already got himself in the win column. He'll be looking to add to that here. Adam Jones is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. Eric Karros, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come into this one looking to make amends for a loss last time out that put an end to a seven-game winning streak. Yeah, and the pitching really let them down last time. But too often their guys were falling behind and having to throw fastballs on 2-0 and or 3-1. That'll catch up with you after a while. In the second spot. Into the windup and the pitch. J.J. Hardy. J.J. Hardy comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Bases are empty, one man out. Hardy not biting at that one as the count goes to 2-1 and one now. Belted high in the air out to left. Ranging back is Bradley... But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he will get there with the first hit of the ball game. A one-out double. Chris Davis will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Well, baseball can be a humbling game. Yesterday wasn't a good day for him. But over the season, he's hitting over 300. And he is cruising now. It's 0-2. Surprised at all that they're coming right after him this way? A, a little bit. I like it. It's good for the game, but this is definitely a guy that can hurt you if you're not careful. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1-2. and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Manny Machado will get his first shot here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Fastball called for strike two. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. That fastball straightens him up a bit. One and two now. Oh, almost caught looking to end the inning, but it's called ball two and two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Ubaldo Jimenez. Will be the starter for the O's in this contest. Eric, any thoughts? Yeah, Matty. In his last time out, he gave him seven strong innings. Got his ball club to win. They'll take that again from him here. Oh, and he looks like he's swinging a garden hose out there as this is cut on and missed for strike one. EK, you look at these Orioles as they begin play here tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. And after the loss in the opener of the series... That was a much-needed win yesterday, so they can look to win this series and take two out of three if they can just take care of business here. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. Dustin Pedroia. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Now a splitter that time that had a bit too much to it as it just about got him. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Nope, splitter, two and two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Trumbull moves over. And that's the second out of the inning. Batting third. Hanley third Ramirez baseball. will stand in hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. You know, guys, we all know that those kind of games are going to happen in this sport. It's a tough game out there, no matter who you are. But the good ones are able to put that day behind you and go out and focus on the next game. 
And Ramirez can't get that one as he swings and misses for strike two. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end. Mark Trumbo will dig in now. And as you can see, he's well over 300 here to start this new campaign. Hit hard on the ground to second. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. So with the leadoff man aboard, we take a trip into the recent past here as we call on our graphic for today's edition of This Date in Baseball History. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and that'll just sneak past the glove, and it should be a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Batting seven. Coming to the plate now, Nolan Reimold. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Into the box now, Caleb Joseph. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point? That's a good way to put it. It looks like he's aiming a little too much, and that's not working for him. On to first, and they get the double play. Dariel Alvarez gets his first shot now, trying to cash in with a runner at third and two gone. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing and one. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. Fly ball, heading for the alley. Holt ranging back. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's a 2-0 ball game. And he is in at third base with an RBI triple. Now batting number 10, center fielder Adam Jones. Back to the top of the order now. And standing in the oh fine gosh. center fielder, Adam Jones. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, 1-0. One to 2 0 now as he hits with a runner at third and two away. Ripped down the first base line. Chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to 2 and 2 now. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Okay. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Pitch count already becoming a factor. He's at 34 now, still not out of the second inning. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Ramirez has got it, and the side is retired. With two runs on four hits, no errors, and a runner left on. David Ortiz will stand in, and you can see that early season average up into the high 300s now. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up with one and one. That smoked, but right into the shift. And this sails right over Davis's head. Ready now, Travis Shaw, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Rymold is there. One down. On to first. A double play. Batting six. Chris Young gets his first chance here. Looking to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Two out, nobody on. That's by him for strike one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike.
Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Chopped foul at the plate and we'll do it again. Hit hard to short. Hardy's up with it. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him. J.J. Hardy is into the box as we are all set to begin the third. And they jumped out to that early lead, so now it's all about just adding on. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Tonight... Borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he's retired here, one away. First base for number 19. Chris Davis digging in here. I can't help but think of the crazy routes that some players take to get to the big leagues. Oh, you're right, Maddie. And, you know, most kids grow up just dreaming of playing in the big leagues for any major league team just to get the chance of one team drafting him. But Davis was drafted on three separate occasions, and that's pretty incredible. Tap fouled at home plate. Davis was drafted by the Yankees in 2004, opted instead to go to junior college. Then the Angels drafted him the next year. He still didn't sign. Finally signed with Texas after the Rangers chose him in the fifth round of the 06 draft. And then his career really finally took off when he got traded to the Orioles in 2011. And he has had some huge seasons since then. Manny Machado. Manny Machado is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball, one and one. Oh, and this ball is launched out to left field. The only question is the height, but he's got plenty of that, too. It's long gone, a home run. It's a solo home run off the bat of Manny Machado. And the Orioles have now taken a 3-0 lead. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Now, Trumbull really came into his own in his rookie season of 2011. 29 home runs, 87 runs driven in. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Ramirez is there, and the side is retired. Brock Holt will get his first shot here. A couple Leading of hits in four zone. trips last night. Right fielder, Brock Holt. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. A solo shot down the line in right. And the Red Sox are on the board. It's now a 3-1 to one ball game. This is just their first hit of the night, but what a hit it was. He squares up on this thing perfectly and just drives it over the wall. That had some serious hang time to it. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. Boy, he goes right back to that same pitch that he just gave up a home run on. Put it in another dangerous location, too. Lucky he got away with that one. And he misses with it one and one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And he'll fall behind now to 1-2. and two. This is line to left. Rymold has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Blake Swihart digs in with one run in and one gone in the inning. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Oh, 
hit hard towards center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The shortstop. Xander Bogarts steps in with one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Yeah, it's been a pretty good inning here so far, so we'll see if they can scratch another run across right here. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. High in the air out to center field. Jones is under it. Two down. Dustin Pedroia is at the plate now. Flied out in his first at bat. Pedroia. First offering on its way. Line toward the alley and left center. In there, a base hit. Well, he's been a little slow out of the blocks here to start the season, but that looks a little better there as this is a sharp base hit. Hanley Ramirez stands in with two on and two out here in the third. And you know, some guys just get better with runners in scoring position and two outs. This is a big at-bat for him right here, even though it's still early. Goes to third with it. The that tag, tag, and he is out. The Red Sox do pick up. Ryan Flaherty will dig in to start it out for the Orioles to be followed by Nolan Reimold. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer. And that's out number one. Nolan Reimold. Stands in following an RBI single his first time through. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Not close. It's 2 and 0. 3 to 1 is our score here in inning number four. Over the outside half, and it's 2 and 1. Yeah, you don't see 2 and 0 changeups too often, but if you know a good hitter is going to be sitting fastball, don't give him what he wants. On the move is Young. He gets there, and that's the second out. Caleb Joseph will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Doing a good job right there of tying him up inside. Got in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. Lays off that time, and it's 1 and 2. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Hanley Ramirez is set to lead us off in the Leading home the half of the fourth the inning. Sox. And in a pretty close Curry's game so far, play. they'd love to see this Hanley. guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Jones is in his tracks now. One pitch, one away. Now batting number 34. David Ortiz, the hitter now. 0 for 1 on the day after reaching on an error his first time up. Yeah, still looking for his first hit of the game, so let's see if he can come through with that one right here. Throw on to first will be there in plenty of time as the Ortiz shift works again. And there are two away now. Travis Shaw. Travis Shaw will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Joseph corrals it. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Dariel Alvarez will stand in to lead things off for the Orioles. Adam Jones set to follow. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. 
hit to first. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in the fine center fielder, Adam Jones. Out in front of it, strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0 2 pitch. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and in steps the shortstop, J.J. Hardy. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Two, two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally this guy would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes turned on down the line but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two and another foul ball three to one our score as we play inning number five just staying alive putting together a really good at bat here line to the right side and a little self preservation down at first as he pulls Three up, three down for the Orioles. But they hang on to a three-to-one lead. Chris Young will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Brock Holt stands in again. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first plate appearance. I can't imagine they're going to give him anything to hit this time around. Throw on to first takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. Now batting. Jackie Bradley Jr. stands in for the second time. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. And Matt, you know what? It's always a little frustrating when you square one up, you hit a solid live drive somewhere, and all you get to show for it is a nice little jog right back to the dugout. That can get in your head a little bit after a while. And Bradley swings and misses at that offering, and he's deep in the hole 0-2. Boy, he is putting on a clinic out there right now. These guys don't know what to look for. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Up with it, Joseph. Now Striding into the box, Blake Swihart. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And now he's hitting left-handed where he's a lot more comfortable over his career. Tends to make better contact from the left side, so... I think he's happy to be over there. He's set. Here's the 0-1. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about. You don't want to give this guy something where he can just roll over a ground ball and still get it into right field. This is skied out toward right. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the end. Joe Kelly will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Chris Davis will stand in here to get things started in the Baltimore sixth. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big-time power. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Chris Davis is known, of course, for his work with the bat, but I like to think about that game in 2012 when he couldn't get a hit in eight at-bats but still managed to earn the win on the mound. Something to tell his grandkids about. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Manny Machado will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going.
This ball's hit a ton out to center field. Back goes Young, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one-out double. Mark Trumbo will stand in. He singled and popped out in his first two at-bats. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Mark Trumbo's had some good success in the big leagues. His best year probably coming in 2012 when he was named to the All-Star team. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Trumbo was also selected to participate in the home run derby that year. And he advanced to the second round of the derby before Jose Bautista ousted him. And that's nothing to be ashamed about, that's for sure. Ready to deliver the one and two. Oh, and here's one that barely misses off the inside corner, two and two. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. Ryan Flaherty will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. Ground ball sent back up the middle, gloved by Bogarts. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One left for the Orioles, and it's still three to one. Xander Bogarts will stand in to start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. And now a right-hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Swing and a miss. Looked like the slider there. A ball and a strike. Down low, two balls and a strike. Well, that two-seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off-speed pitch. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now three and one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Jones on the move. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Dustin Pedroia will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. That's yanked into the stand. Strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Drilled on the ground is short. Party's there. Throw on to first. He'll take care of Pedroia. And there are two away. Hanley Ramirez. We'll step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. This is in the air to center. Does he have another one, two, three for the ledger? He most certainly does. Ten straight he's retired now as that ends. The Nolan Reimold is set to get us started for the late innings of this one. fielder, Nolan Reimold. Into the seats, 0 and 1. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Bradley going back on it. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Caleb Joseph stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. And a first pitch sinker is over for strike one. Three runs, seven hits. One error thus far for Baltimore. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Now batting. Dariel Alvarez steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. Pitch out. Nothing doing. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Ground ball left side. Pedroia. Adam Jones will stand in. And they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Yeah, guys, not really providing the spark that they usually hope to get out of him. Maybe he can make something happen right here. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here's the 0-2. Frozen on the fastball. Never had a chance, and the inning is over. It's time. Orioles leave one. David Ortiz 
will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup, four, five, and six as they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run, that's it. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and oh. Chop foul right at home plate. It's strike one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. You talk about tying a guy up. My goodness. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. And this misses from Jimenez, and that'll fill up the count now. Three and two. He knows a drill out there. You've got to make him swing the bat and not be giving up walks at this stage of the game because those could be fatal. Travis Shaw stands in, was locked up on strike three in his last trip. Yeah, and hopefully he got that out of his system. They really need him to come through right here. Sliced hard on the ground. Throw to first will be in plenty of time, and Jimenez is looking sharp now. Two away. Center fielder. Chris Young will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Yep, not showing too much so far, but he's got a chance to make something happen right here. See if he can put those other ABs behind him. Lifted in the air to center field. Jones has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. J.J. Hardy comes to the plate, and he'll start us off in the eighth. Shortstop, J.J. Hardy. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. And if you're going to go after that pitch, you've got to be thinking right field. I think he just pulled off of that one a little. Down the third baseline. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. That one misses, and I think a ballpark full of umpires disagrees. It's two and two. Yeah, I, I think he started walking to the dugout there. That was pretty darn close. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Chris Davis comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Getting that first pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. You have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate the at-bat. In time to first, and there are two away. The third baseman, the third Manny Machado is set to take some more swings. He homered back in the third inning. Hit on the ground to short. Bogarts has it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the... Brock Holt will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there, and he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long, and I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on, and that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. 2-0. and oh. All right, now you've just seen two straight breaking pitches miss away. So as a hitter, you're going to eliminate that pitch. No way does he throw it a third time. 3-0 and oh now. Winging away, and now the count will be three and one. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one, our score. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Party for one on the first, and the rally ends just as quickly as it began. Two away now here in the eighth. Blake Swihart 
will stand in as they're quickly down to their final four outs tonight. And Matt, they'd like nothing more than to ignite a two-out rally right here. Maybe scratch at least one across before the ninth. Xander Bogarts will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. That evens it up, one and one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And that ends the inning. So no runs here on two hits, no errors. And Welcome back to baseball on the show from Beantown, Boston, Mass. We're set for the final innings of this one. Leading off the inning, Mark Trumbo, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. The 0-1. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ryan Flaherty. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. One out, nobody on. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And a heck of an effort over there at first, but it'll be for naught as this is a foul ball. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. And that's a good spot for that fastball on 0 and 2. And that couldn't have been an easy take. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Nolan Rymel stands in looking to put the bat on the ball for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Set to deal on two and two. A big uppercut there as he popped this straight up. Calling for it. Shaw. And that ends the inning. Zach Britton is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Number 53. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen now as they've got a left-hander up and throwing. Leading off the bottom of the ninth. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. And, oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Yeah, there's a good one right there, right over the top. And just fire that thing in there. Britain's ready. Here's the one and one. Jammed him a bit there as it's fouled at the plate. One and two, here it comes. High in the air and deep to left center field. Jones going back. Still going back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he'll get in there standing up with a leadoff double. Up next for the Red Sox. So a crucial moment here in standing in, Hanley Ramirez. But a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. 
and you know, sometimes guys get caught up in thinking about being the big hero. The key here, though, is just keep it simple. See the ball, hit the ball. Usually the best results come with that mindset. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Nervous time now in that third base dugout. Heck, nervous time up here. My heart's racing, and I'm just watching this game. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Chop foul right at home plate. Left side. Machado is there. And this sails right over Davis's head. So runners at the corners now. Nobody out. And here's the still dangerous left-handed bat of David Ortiz. Sends that one out of play for strike one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. One and one. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot, and you're stuck facing a guy like this. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit sharply on the ground. Hardy for one. On to first, and Big Poppy set down there. A double play. Travis Shaw stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Looks like a lefty and a right-hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Hit hard up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Chris Young comes to the plate now with the tying run at first, so he'll be looking to drive a ball into the gap here. Swing and a little tapper. That rolls foul for strike one. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Rymold going back on it. Gone! Santa Maria, game over. So a two-run home run here for Chris Young. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. It looked like he saved his best work here for the final swing. And these guys are certainly amped up as he wins it with a game-winning homer. Guys, a good outing on the mound for the man you see right there, the recipient of our Tops Player of the Game Award. Yeah, Matty, sounds good to me. They needed him to come out and give some support when he was called on, and he gave them a very good outing out of the bullpen, enough to make him our Player of the Game. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show.